Hello everybody, my name is Sotiris Karelos. I am the main organizer of ECOS 2024, which takes place at this time in the wonderful island of Rhodos in Greece. I had the honor to host uh, this uh, conference in the island of the Sun, as it's called, or in the island of the Nights, or in the Pearl Island, as we used to call it. ECOS, the name we gave to this wonderful conference, is coming from the Greek word Ecos. Ecos is the house. So Ecos or Ecos is our house, is our ecosystem. We are dealing with ecology that we all know, but most important of all, we are an ecogenia, which means a family. Hello, I'm Irene Koronaki, professor uh, in the School of Mechanical Engineering of National Technical University of Athens. I first attended ECOS conference in 1997 as a PhD student. Now, as a professor in the field of thermodynamics and energy systems, I would like to welcome you to the ECOS conference. Uh, this premier uh, event uh, brings together global experts to explore cutting edge advancements in energy efficiency and sustainability. It addresses future challenges in energy systems, focusing on sustainable energy transition, including decarbonization and renewable integration. It emphasizes enhancing energy efficiency across sectors, technological innovations, and developing cost-effective storage solutions. What can I say about this ECOS conference is uh, I'm a senior guy in this uh, audience here. And uh, we started in like, like uh, 40 years ago in, um, in the States, thanks to Richard Gaggioli, who was the promoter of this kind of second law analysis linked with economics and uh, the use of thermodynamics to advance technical processes. And actually, Richard Gajoli is our father in this uh, uh, issue about ECOS. For me, it's the sixth consecutive year of uh, participating in the, the ECOS conference. The ECOS conference is a great opportunity for young researchers to join an enthusiastic community and share our ideas and our visions towards for the interaction of uh, laboratories from other countries in order to save the future that we want. It is my first time in ECOS and it's a really great environment, really inspiring. And it's a lot uh, good to see um, so many people, so, such different uh, variety of nationalities, such different PhD, postdocs and professors all interacting together. It's really a great experience. I would suggest everyone to do it several times. <laughs> ECOS uh, 2024 included uh, many insights and inspirational presentations about innovative technologies and solutions to mitigate climate change, and also it provided a great opportunity for uh, making new collaborations and also uh, exchanging ideas that are necessary for the energy transition. The ECOS uh, series of conferences is a very well-established uh, series that uh, started uh, in the year uh, 1987 
and uh, has taken place uh, three times until now in Greece. We have excellent memories from all the, the past uh, conferences and we look forward uh, to, to all the future conferences uh, that uh, should bring even more insights into the energy problems and the environmental problems that we face as humanity. Looking back at these five days of ECOS 2024, one thing is sure. These were five very, very fruitful days. Five days that we all enjoyed and that we will remember in our scientific and professional life. I would like to thank very much my team and all who have contributed for the success of this conference. And of course, everybody that uh, took part in this wonderful conference that made us feel like home, like our ECOS. Thank you very much all.